what's going on you guys it's your girl meek b and i'm out here um i am attempting to create a new drink got some little cheap champagne okay from like Publix or some shit um i'm currently located in uh north beach um the north side of miami south beach florida um and i've been wanting to make this my whole trip but i haven't made it so i said you know what why not make a video with it my tan popping okay my tan is popping in around here so um let's get into it so i'm attempting to make a mimosa not attempting i am okay because y'all know i'm the best that do this shit <laughs> okay so for mother's day i had made a watermelon mimosa and it was delicious fucked it up Fucked it all the way up. So today I wanted to do a spin on the, off that watermelon. I still have watermelon up from when I bought it. Um, got it from Publix. And I'm going to chop that watermelon up. And also, I already poured my wine. I want to sip some of this first. They see how it tastes. It's not that bad. Now this is a... This is <clears throat> a Cook's California Champagne. This is not sponsored. Okay. Um, extra dry. So I like dry. I like dry wine, uh, champagnes with my mimosas. It tastes better with the orange and everything. So let's get into what I'm about to use as far as my orange base. So I'm going to make a tropical mimosa, right? I ate, I ate the damn, uh, I ate the, uh, what the fuck was it called? Give me a second. Let me think about it. I had some pineapple. I ate that. So we go we go just, just spin off on it with what I got. So I picked up from the grocery store, right? I picked up some peach orange juice, simply orange. So we're gonna add this peach to it. Boom. Right? Before we do that, and I'm also add a little bit of this to give it, I don't know, we'll see. I think this would bring it together like the tropical taste with the peach and this, cause this is fizzy too. This is the uh, Pellegrino, okay? San Pellegrino, the Italian sparkling drinks. This is the flavor. Um, I like drinking this with this, okay? This was my wave the whole trip. That was my wave. But uh, let's get into it. I'm talking too much. Let's stay focused, focus, focus. So you just want to put a little bit. I don't like, I don't like my mimosas heavy with orange juice. I don't. I just like a little bit. Boom. For color. For color. Now I don't have a, a muddler, but I do have. Let's see. Got like a little kitchen set up here. I do have um some things. So boom. I'm gonna cut my watermelon. I'm gonna try to metal it as best as I can. Um, on camera for you guys without a muddler. I just cut it. And I'm gonna use a spoon to press down, like to mash it, get it like a, like a paste consistency. Let's see if it works. But I, I did realize we had big spoons here. So maybe I should've kept it whole. So basically I'm making a watermelon juice. I'm, I'm muddling it to get the juices out. And I'm gonna put this in my glass. When I when I do my watermelon mimosa, I muddle the watermelon and then I add watermelon as a garnish on the edge. It's delicious. So I just wanna know how you guys are. Comment below, let me know how you're feeling, how you're handling this 2020. I know we've been through a lot. Um, and I'm proud of you guys. So, you know, I, I've been watching you guys on, on ugh, get your words together, girl. Get your words together. Get your words together. I've been watching you guys on the low. Um, I tapped out. And I just want to make sure how you doing mentally? How you doing physically? Um, don't worry about it. Everything has always works out in divine time. Don't, so don't even, don't sweat the shit. That's it. Don't sweat the shit. That's that's what you got to do for 2020. Don't sweat the shit. Stay fucking focused and don't sweat the shit. But I ain't trying to do this to a preach. So if you could look, it's not the best, but you see the juice? We're going to put that in there. Put that in there. I want all the watermelon juice in there. And the watermelon. See, I chopped it up because I wanted the watermelon to float. I didn't want it to sink. So it can look pretty. So it can look pretty. 
So let's taste it without the Pellegrino. Let me see how it tastes. Oh my God. This is fucking delicious. This is fucking delicious. Oh my God. It is. Yo, I don't even need it. It tastes like a tropical mimosa. So boom, there you go. Quick little summer drink, little, little, you know, you out, it's hot. I know it's hot in Jersey. I don't know where you guys are. It's hot everywhere. So go get you some Simply Orange Peach, some dry wine, muddle some watermelon. I wanted to put some pineapple in it, but I had the munchies late night. And you know, I don't, I ain't had nothing to eat, so I ate the I ate the pineapple. So um, if you guys want me to come on here and show you how I do my pineapple mimosas, let me know. Comment below. It's your girl Meek B, and cheers to the summer.